So yeah, there is a bit of confusion now, but it's a very straightforward process. It's very difficult for us to ascertain what really happened. And there's lots of confusion going around. The Telegraph reported yesterday uh, that there was no cake. Now, for someone who was there, or not, um, that's very disorientating. Was I part of an ambush or an optical illusion? So I have to trust in the process, and we as a country need to trust in the process. Yeah, we had Sue Gray's report, but now the Met are involved, and in order for the Met to ascertain what happened, they need Sue Gray to not ascertain what, what happened. And there is a logic here, because the thing with the Met is very fine institution, lots of great work over lockdown, handing out fines, um, stopping protesters from infecting candles at vigils, very important work, but how do they know whether to approach uh, 10 Downing Street until Sue Gray is trending on Twitter? So thank you for that, Sue Gray, but also now she needs to take a step back because otherwise she might prejudice the Met and the Met hate prejudice, they hate it. Sue Gray can still put out her report, that's very important, but instead of sort of actually giving information, it's more of a sort of vital, um, symbolic, um, but very important, empty husk. After the Met investigation and the Sue Gray investigation, then we can ascertain, well actually no, after that we probably need another investigation. Um, maybe a few, because some of them are gonna be duffs like the Pretty Patel bullying one. They will need a few reports.